Steve Morgan here, Australian Bass Tournaments with the uh, winner of the grand final for 2021 in the non-boaters division, Jesse Roten from Victoria. Jesse, it was a great weekend for Victorians at the grand final. It definitely was. I wasn't expecting it. I probably expected Mario to be up there, but uh, yeah, I, I had two really good days. Let's um, let's talk. Let's explain it though. You and Mario drove up together, and you and Mario both won the divisions of the grand final. That's how good it was. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't even know what to say. I, you know what, as you drive to the event, you're always excited, you're talking about your plans happening. Did, did you ever say, wouldn't it be cool if we both won the grand final? Uh, no, I didn't actually. Uh, I was a little bit nervous and so was Mario. Even yesterday, Mario was a little bit nervous. But yeah, it's we love getting to these new places and uh, yeah, having a bit of a fish. We had a really good pre-fish. I caught a, a really big jack, my PB jack, nice. on the pre-fish, so... Yeah, getting around at all of these events is really good fun. Take us through your uh, your two days of the event. Who are the boaters that you fish with for both of the days? Uh, day one, I fished with Brett Crow. Yep. And uh, yeah, we had we had a we started off at Middle Wall, and I struggled at Middle Wall. I kept getting snagged, and so was he. Uh, and I tried to fish out a little bit wider, but it didn't really work. And then we eventually moved up to. Uh, Aluka, just up from Aluka, there's uh, the rock wall that runs down the river, and I managed to get my three fish there. And one of them was a nice one, two small ones, but I was really happy to get those fish because I got them all in the last two hours. Really? You were struggling before that? Definitely, yeah. It was doing my head in because we caught a fair few fish on pre-fish day, and I thought I'd yeah catch one or two during the actual main days, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I couldn't. So no, that was good fun. And day two, I had Daryl Baird from Victoria. Uh, we've fished together, fished together before, and uh, we had a good day. We went to Middle Wall again, and uh, same thing again. Got snagged up. I was losing more lures than anything else. And he made the call to head up to Browns Rocks, and we fished around Browns Rocks for the rest of the day. And it took us a while to catch a few fish. Uh, when we first got there, we sent a few people catching them, but we weren't. And uh, once the tide slowed down a little bit more, we started to get a few fish, started to work out a bit of a pattern. Uh, Daryl got a few nice fish as well and lost one right at the end, which is going to hurt us yep. or hurt him. But uh, I had a really good day and want to thank those two boaters for putting me on the fish. I wouldn't have caught them without them. Interesting format. It's a three fish limit for non boaters now. Got to catch your own three fish, keeps the feel really tight, but also lets you, makes your kickers really count, I suppose. Definitely, definitely. I, I'm, I'm a fisherman that gets really relieved when they get the limit, even if it's small, and that doesn't matter, doesn't matter what event, even if it's down in Tassie. Uh, but once I got the three, which is a bit easier than getting five, I was wrapped. And then I tried to, you know, figure a few things out to try and get some bigger ones. Uh, but it was just a matter of you kept kept the lure in the water and uh, I'd get a small one and then the next one would be a bit bigger. Take us through the outfits you've got here. You're, you're a Daiwa angler, so you've got a lot of Daiwa tackle here. Take us through the two techniques that you were using. Uh, most of my fish came on the uh, cranker crab. That's an olive cranker crab, mate. I think olive, only yeah, about yeah. a million brim have been caught on this thing over the years. Yeah. The olive cranker crab that Steezy has invented. And uh, I see you fishing with a little clip there. Yeah, yeah. I like to change my lures regularly. I have like 30 unused lures or used lures for the day stuck to the carpet of the boat normally. But uh, Take us through the outfit. Uh, the outfit is a TD0702 uh, LFS or LS, sorry. And I've got a 2500 Kicks uh, LT with 8 pound J Braid Grand uh, with a 4 pound J Thread Fluorocarbon Leader. And that's uh, what you use to drag that crab around the joint? Yeah, I like to fish crabs on this other outfit, but uh, I put a different coloured crab on that earlier, and that's why I put the olive on this one here. Uh, but yeah, I really like this outfit. It's probably one of my favourite outfits. Uh, and yeah, that light in the hand, aren't they? Those zeros, yeah, they're good, yeah. And uh, I've had this reel from the very start, I got it as a sample, and yeah, it's one of my favorite reels.
Yeah. Take us through the other Dyer outfit there. Dyer, of course, the naming uh, right sponsor of the Brim Series. Uh, it's another good-looking outfit, mate. Dyer makes some nice-looking gear. Yeah, they do. They do. And they, they help me catch a lot of fish. Even their lures, their lines, everything gives me the confidence to, to go out there and try my best. Run us through this outfit, and uh, how did you fish this one? Uh, this one is actually one that I don't use that often. I use it probably a bit more on snapper. Yep. It's a Rebellion 681 ML Plus FS, and I've got that matched to a Freem's 2500 LT. Uh, same 8-pound J-Braid thread, uh, J-Braid J J Grand, and I've got a 4-pound J-Thread fluorocarbon leader on that. Uh this outfit is, I thought I'd be uh, needing it a bit more, especially around the rocks, but most of the fish I caught were in open water or just off the rocks, and I was pretty safe with that. But yeah, it really helped on one of the fish yesterday. Uh, I had a fish that went up tight to the bank, and I was able to steer it out with that. That's great, mate. Uh, you're, uh, you're a long-time ABT angler now, and you've done pretty well from the front and the back of the boat. What's your favourite? Uh, I don't really have a preference. I just like getting to these events. Yep. I love them. Yeah, I love coming down with Mario, and especially without Mario, I wouldn't be at these events. Yeah, but uh, but I, I really enjoy them. I, I reckon it's a little bit more challenging at the back, and I feel like you learn a little bit more, but sometimes you're blessed too because your boat is on the electric. He's doing all the hard stuff, and you get blessed with uh, just... Just do the fishing. fishing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. but I do enjoy both sides of them, and I yeah can highly recommend them to anyone thinking of doing them. Well, he is a true champion from the back of the boat and the front of the boat. Jesse Roten from Victoria, congratulations, mate. You, you are now Thank a grand final champion. Thank you.